Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for April 15th to 22nd. I am Charlene Lizette. We are going to dive into this weekend and cover what is in store for you, which clearly is a lot. You may notice that I am using a special kind of card and you may be like, Char, why are you using these cards? And I'm going to tell you right now because it's my birthday week. It's my birthday week. It's my birthday week. And uh, if you're not following me over on Instagram, if you're not following me over on my newsletter or my email list, whatever you want to call it, what are you doing? Go do that. Go do that. Like while you're listening to this, go do that quickly, 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 because there are so much juicy stuff that I am going to be doing to celebrate the week of my birthday. Okay. Let's dive into this reading, which is looking very auspicious. We're going to do love at the very end. Um, you've got Aphrodite as your amulet and Aphrodite is my girl. I love Aphrodite. I love Venus. I talk about them all the time. They're both very similar goddesses, just in different mythology. One Roman, one Greek. Why am I talking so much about her? Let me tell you why. Hmm, no kidding. Aphrodite and or Venus is the goddess of money, beauty, harmony, your values, your self-worth, okay? And how you are able to magnetize and call in what you desire. When you embody your Venetian energy, your unique Venetian, Venetian footprint, which you'll look at your astrology and see where Venus sits in your chart, the sign that it rules us, the sign that you work with and the energy of Venus. This is how you call in everything that you want in your life. And I know, baby, trust me, trust you. I'm a Pisces rising. You know that. Okay. We have been dragged, dragged by the universe. The universe is like, oh, let's just make you suffer. <laughs> It's not just joking. We're not suffering. We're learning. We're maturing. We're having to grow up, right? We're having to, you know, mature, be disciplined, be structured, sacrifice, do all that stuff. And that's not something that Pisces energy is. Um, Pisces energy is not into that. Pisces energy is like, let me just be fluid, right? And then Saturn's like, now. You have to learn, you have to grow up, you have to mature. And that's okay though, right? Because in this maturity, in this growing, what's happening for you, Pisces, is an opportunity to get to this next level. To get to this next level of wealth, this next level of riches, this next level of abundance. It is offering you all these wonderful, auspicious opportunities to help you finally tap into this gift that you have innately that maybe you haven't been tapping into, either from lack of self-confidence, uh, maybe X is taking away your self-worth, or you giving up your power, right? Because that's sometimes what Pisces does um, when Pisces is in its victim delusional stage. And yeah, I just said that. Don't hate the messenger. Uh, I don't know why I'm being so goofy. I think it's because I'm doing my birthday week reading. Envy, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges, okay? Look, honey, just because somebody is where they're at doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you for not being there. You have to decide what your life goal is. You have to decide what you want to conjure and bring into this reality. Then go from there. Don't compare your life to other people. And if somebody's trying to compare themselves to you, you're Pisces, period, hard stuff. Solar eclipse, embracing change, revelations, courage, determination, connection. Yeah, we talked about this last week, right? We talked about this last week. It was a doozy. Right. But I feel like for you, this whole eclipse energy was just kind of getting you to wake up and step into your power. Aries does that, right? Like I'm an Aries. I have an Aries stellium. We're this a force to be reckoned with. And we tell you to go after your dreams. We propel you charge forward, not in a way that, especially during this time, not in a way that is aggressive, but in a way that's strategic. And then when we look at this, the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts, Babe, if you are not sharing your gifts with the world, what are you doing? Mm? If you are not being a spiritual teacher, a creative, somebody who makes some sort of art or connects directly with swords, tarot, reiki, astrology, um, any of the esoteric arts or anything creative, music, art, dance, etc. What are you doing? And why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you stepping into your soul purpose? This is the week where you step into your soul purpose. This is the week where you revolutionize your life. This is the week where you start showing up. I'm hearing a lot of you want to be on social media. And also the fact that I picked these cards, they've got a very like 50s Hollywood vibe. And a few of these cards indicate fame. Six of, six of, oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. I'm doubling down on what I said. 
six of wands at the end of your reading. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Ten of pentacles and the queen of cups. That's you. Oh, no, I don't want to Listen to me. Listen to me so carefully, Pisces. What are you doing right now to revolutionize your life? How are you showing up on social media? Hmm? What are you doing to be seen? Oh, sure, I don't want to be seen. Please. Please, you know that your fear of being seen has everything to do with judgment and criticism. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you know internally, deep down inside, that you need to start that YouTube channel, that you need to start that TikTok, that Instagram, that Pinterest, whatever, that blog, whatever it may be. It's time now, okay? If I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. And you know why you're not doing it. And if you need somebody to hold you accountable, you need somebody to walk you through this journey, I got your back, baby. Go enroll in the Soul Revolution. It starts May 8th, okay, which happens to be one of the most auspicious days. Um, there are payment plans available. You get three one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I'm going to help you out and nine weekly group coaching sessions. Like literally I want you guys to start making money on social media, sharing your unique gifts because Pluto and Aquarius, we talked about this already. We start off your reading with the 10 of pentacles, the queen of cups here, babe. If there was ever a time for you to share your unique gifts, sorry, and start making money while doing it, this is the time. This is the time, Pisces. You have no idea. I get it. It's been hard. I get it. Money this, money that. Those are stories. Those are limiting beliefs. Mars also uh, conjunct Saturn right now. It's another doozy. All this stuff that's happening is literally, these are like pressure points, right? Where Source is turning around and saying, I am making you experience the pressure so you can form into the damn diamond that you are. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? Six of swords here. Moving away from the turmoil, moving away from the overanalysis paralysis, the, the mental blockages, the ego, the fear, the criticism, the judgment, the loss of, like the fear of loss of something, like all that stuff, it's gone. Why? Because now you're learning balance, two of pentacles. You're learning how to balance your finances. You're learning how to balance your life. You're learning how to manage your money, manage your energy, manage your time, manage your life in a whole new way. Like a lot in a whole new world, you know? Yeah. Nine of pet. Dude, how much money? Oh my God. Oh, wait. Oh, April 20th. Also, April 20th, please manifest. Sorry, I just realized that. April 20th, please manifest. Okay, I did a whole TikTok on it. I'm going to put the shorts here up on YouTube. I'm actually going to do a video on it. April 20th, you're going to want to manifest, okay? Nine of pentacles here. The knight of pentacles as well is showing up as a reminder that the seeds that you plant over time will grow. There will be a harvest. There will be abundance. There will be a reaping of rewards. There will be a moment of celebration. There is joy, luck, opportunity happening here with the six of wands as well. My goodness, my gosh, Pisces. Go figure out I was like in this like la 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 vibe because this reading is fantasticals. Okay, let's dive into your love reading. Um, for those of you that want to work with me in the soul revolution, you want to take any of my courses, money magnet, learn how to reach her all that stuff it's all in the description box below. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. It's safe for you to love true love healing family. Oh my God. You know, some of you, as you start showing up either on social media or putting yourself out there in a way that may feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, but listen, the uncomfortable spaces are where you grow and where you evolve. You may actually come into contact with, um, with your soulmate, mm, the world, nine of pentacles, king of wands. Yeah. Whoever this king of wands is that hurt you in the past, toss them in the trash. Goodbye. Um, listen, heal from the pain, the suffering that you experienced with your parents, with this ex or whatever, true love, nine of pentacles. Somebody is coming in nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles. This has been somebody who has had their eye on you for a minute. Okay. Oh, that's why you got Aphrodite because you're calling in love. It's safe for you to love. Yeah. World open up to receiving baby. You deserve the blessings. Okay. Know that please, please know that you deserve the blessings. All right. I'm going to pop this video here that I did all about the solar eclipse. Cause I think it's going to help you out. And then after that, the Pluto and Aquarius video is going to play, which I think also will help you out if you haven't seen either of those, because this energy that we're in a bay eclipse ended, but th that was just the beginning. That's a portal pushing us forward and it's pushing you towards success. All right. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I'm so excited to see you all that are joining the soul revolution. And uh, that's it for today. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.